know that old house at the end of the road? The one that nobody ever dares go? They all have good reason to shy and steer clear of that spooky abode and its dark atmosphere. For waiting inside are all manner of frights. Hey guys, I thought I'd make a quick tutorial to show you how to change colors of your default atmospheric FX uh, downloads. So let's get started. So all you need to do is go to out to Atmos's website, uh, go grab whichever one you want to play around with. Uh, I thought Bukri would be a fun one to do because it's on sale today. You only get it for five bucks. So go out here, add it to your cart, buy it, and you can get an immediate download. Um, once you've downloaded that, um, we will get started. So there's a lot of different video editing software you can use to change this. Uh, I'm going to show you Adobe After Effects and how you do it, but it's pretty much the same concept. It's just changing your reds, greens, and blues on, on the video. So once you've downloaded the video clip, uh, let's grab it over here. It'll be in your little folder where it's zipped up. Go grab the one that you want to play around with. We're just going to do the three song one. Uh, so once you have After Effects loaded up, all you do is go grab your clip, drop it over here in your project pane. So that will instantly import it into After Effects and now you have it ready so that you can mess around with it. So the first thing you want to do is just create a new composition. It's basically like saying, hey, let's start a project. So the way you can do it, you can drive it, you can drag it right down into here or you can just drag it to this little icon right here that will create a new composition. What that does is it basically copies all of the settings for your video clip, like how long is the video clip, was it shot in 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, yada, yada, yada. Um, so you ha now have your video cl clip ready to create. So here's your little preview pane that shows you what's going on. Here's your little timeline that shows you, okay, at 20 seconds, this is what it looks like, and you can edit all around it. Over here are all of your like effects, your colors, all of your different type of libraries that you have. Uh, so for this one, we're going to be working with effects and presets. So you're going to want to come over to effects and presets, and then you're going to come into color correction. So under color correction, you have Lumetri color. So to apply this effect to the video, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can just drag it right here and drop it onto the video clip or you can drag it over here and drop it it does the exact same thing so we come over here and we drag it what that basically does is it now switches from your project view up here to the effect so this effect is now um, layered over top of the video really doesn't do anything until you start playing around with it so the one you're going to want to come to is curves so once you open it up, you're going to have your reds, your greens, your blues, uh, your brightness levels. So uh, this is really powerful in what you can do right here. So one of the things that uh, you can do is if you have a projector that isn't very bright, you'll notice that these characters aren't bright to begin with. You can brighten them up. So you just click on this white one right here, come in the middle and just drag it. And now they're brighter. Uh, if you want to undo something, you just double click in any of these white space. So let's uh, just double click right there and I did it. And you can see that it goes from, you know, slightly bright to you can get it super like whited out. Uh, so you can adjust the brightness or you can make it darker. This is really great if you have a low lumens projector, you can kind of bump up the default and make it just a little brighter to help your projection show through. Now these guys are white to start off with, and that's great. Uh, most of us just, you know, Atmos does an amazing job, so we sometimes just use this, but let's say we want to change the color. So basically it's your primary colors, you want to add more reds, or you want to take away reds, you want to add greens, take away greens. So if I add more red to it, it starts getting more red. So add some more green, or if you take away the green, you'll see the color start changing. Um, let's add some blue, let's take it away, and you can start changing all the different type of colors of whatever you want it to be. So you're like, oh, you know what, I really like that color. So now 
if that's all you wanted to do, now your ghosts are like this nice little pink color. And you could render out the video just like this, and you're done. You instantly just change the color for them. Um, there's a couple other things that you can do to this as well. Um, so that's one way to do it. Uh, there's a couple of other ways, like there's Video, Video Copilot has a cool little plugin that uh, basically does the hues and saturations and your color curves all in one little thing. Here, I'll show you really quick. So let's just take off that effect so I can actually come down to the effects and just delete it. And then you could pull on Video Copilot's uh, VCR Color Vibrance, which is just basically another plugin. And this one is much easier to work with because all you have to do is basically, oh, I want blue, done. You don't have to play around with the reds and greens. It's just easily select whichever color you want to go with, messing around and be like, oh yeah, that, that pink looks really great. You can accomplish the exact same thing. So let me take this effect off, come here to effects and just delete it. And it sets you back to whatever you're default one was so if you don't have if you don't want to get that plugin totally fine just go to color correction lumetri color throw it back on there come to curves and just play around with it till you get the color that you like uh, messing around any way you want um, and then of course remember if you're like oh I messed it up I really wanted it something else just double click on any of the individual colors and it will just reset them back to whatever you wanted. So let's make it a little bit brighter. Uh, let's add a little red to it. Let's subtract some greens. And for the blues, hmm, yeah, let's make it a purple color. Oh, that's kind of cool. So we'll go with that. Um, so now I have my video as purple. Um, pretty much done from here and now you just have to render it out. Uh, I don't like to actually render in After Effects so I will usually go to export and export it to Adobe Media Encoder. That way I can be actually rendering it out in Media Encoder and still be playing in After Effects and doing other things in here. But Or if you didn't want to you could just add it to your render queue directly there and then you could put what file format where you want to save it off, uh, what format you want to save it in, and then render it out that way. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to show you, that's, that's a quick way to just make sure everything is all the same color. But what if you wanted to have this ghost be this pink color, we want this ghost to be like a blue color, and we want this ghost to be like a green color. So the way we want to do that is we're going to go up here and we're going to drag our video down two more times. So now what I have is I basically have the copy of the video three different times. So over here, this is how you turn off layers. So I have basically three layers. So all my three videos are turned off. There's one where it's the regular one. And then here's one where we colored it. So what we want to do is let's work with one video at a time. Uh, and what we're going to do is actually create masks for it. So to do that, we basically come to up here to the top where it says layer, and then we go to a new solid. And what we want to call this is, hey, let's call this the left ghost. Uh, and then this is where you can pick the, the color to help you organize it. Uh, it doesn't matter what color you pick right here. So what that did is now I have a ghost. See how it created this layer down here? I'm going to drag it up to the top so that it's basically a, I have a big giant solid layer. What we want to do is we want to come to the pen tool right here. So you click on this pen tool and you're going to make a, an outline of the little ghost. And to make this easier so that you can actually see it, um, Let's go to add. There we go. So add, what it means is, you can go to add and screen. Uh, what it means is let you see through what's underneath that layer. So let's use our little pen tool and outline this left ghost. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to get it like that because you can always just adjust 
the layers here. So we're basically just masking around our little ghost here. Perfect. So there we have our mask, and that means we're just going to work with him. Uh, now, if I want to apply this, uh, see here, if I go to uh, normal, you won't be able to see him. So the way you just have that guy appear in this box is you come to the track mat and you apply it to the mask. So you just click on this and you go alpha mat left ghost. So you're basically saying, I want this video to show up in the little box outline that I had here. So you click on it and boom, there it is. So now I have this one ghost the way I want him and it's just gonna show him. So as I see, it's basically hidden these other two ghosts. Um, so now we have him done. So I'll turn him off and I'll turn on the next one. And we need to do the exact same thing. So let's go to layer, new solid. Let's call this guy middle ghost. And so we have middle ghost. I'm going to drag it down here above the video where he is. So this is the middle ghost video. Let's just turn off that layer so we can see him. Um, let's go add it to screen, hit screen. That way we can actually see him through it. And now let's draw our mask. Use your pen tool here. Click on your little boxes for him. And now we've built our mask. Let's adjust it down. So whatever is in this mask is actually going to show up. Anything outside of it won't show up. And so once we get it the way we like it, we're like, yep, that works. Now we do the same thing. Come to our track mat, alpha mat, middle ghost, and boom. So now we have our left ghost and our middle ghost. Um, for our middle ghost, uh, well, let, let's just finish up the layers. Okay, so then let's turn off these layers and go to our final video and let's add our third layer. So new solid, let's call him right ghost. And same thing, let's go add a screen, screen. Um, let's draw our little pen tool for it. And there we are. Let's just adjust it, make sure that it gets in. Um, basically what this means is anything outside of this video box won't be shown. So it has these other two ghosts, but it won't be shown because we're just focusing on what's in this. So if this character, if his hands like come out really far, they'll go outside the box. So then you just need to adjust the box to allow for if he has weird gestures or not. These guys are all pretty much the same because they go on a, a prop so there isn't wild exaggerations. So once we're done with that, we come down to the exact same thing, alpha mat, right ghost, and now we have our right ghost. Um, and now let's turn on all the rest of the videos. So that's a video and you can rename these to make it easier. Say left ghost video. Rename it to middle ghost video. Let's rename this one to right ghost video. So now we have our three little ghost videos. Um, what we want to do from here is add colors to these two. So let's come up to our little ghost up here, to the middle ghost, and we'll start with him. So let's drag over here on Lumetri. And you'll notice that there are, it shows the three condensed into one. Don't worry about that. That's just because we're doing it in masks after the fact. So you still come come over to the curves, come down to it, and let's go play around with its color. Let's make it a little brighter. And you noticed as soon as I uh, adjusted it, it just came right back to the specific mask. Um, now let's change the color. What do we want to make this guy? Let's see what reds look like. Maybe let's make him a blue. So let's have a little red, less reds. Let's come to our blues. Let's brighten that up. Yeah, that's kind of a cool blue just right there. So you don't need to touch greens. You can come in the greens if you want. 
you can see how it adjusts them just slightly, whichever color you want. I actually like the blue before. And there we have the blue guy. So let's close that. We're done with him. So the same thing. We're going to work on the right ghost now. Um, to make it easier, let's just get rid of the left ghost and center ghost. So we just turn them off for now. And that way we know we're just working with the right ghost. So let's come back over here, grab our color, drop it on. You'll notice that it condenses it for just a second. Let's go to curves, adjust the brightness, make him a little more bright. And then let's play around with whatever color we want him to be. Uh, let's, let's make this one green. So let's go grab the greens, uh, make him a little darker. Oh, I like that green right there. Let's see if we add some blues to it, make him adjust a little more green. Yeah, I like that one right there, perfect. So once you get the color that you want, let's go turn these guys all back on. And there we have it. We have our pink, our blue, and our green ghost. And so now that it's done, uh, you see the background right here. This is just a transparent background. When it actually renders out, it will just be all black for it. Um, so to render this out, we're going to use Adobe Media Encoder. But before I render it, I don't want to actually render the entire two and a half minute video clip. We're just going to do a sample video. So to change that, you can just come into Composition, Composition Settings, um, change it from our two minute in 23 seconds to let's just render out like a 30 second clip there we go so now it's condensed it to only be 30 seconds of the video and as a demo instead of having the entire video clip so once it's ready for that come over to file oh, here let me pull it up so you can see what's going on so this is adobe media encoder I'm basically going to move all of the data over into this one so that Media Coder can be rendering this out and I can still work in After Effects on my thing. So to do that, you come to File, Export, um, there we go. You have to have your composition that you want to export. Uh, export, add to Adobe Media Encoder, and then it will pop up over here. And so here it is. Let's just rename this or save it to our wherever. Let's save it to our desktop. Uh, we'll call this sample video. So once it's ready to go, here you can adjust the settings to, you know, if you want a high definition, you want it uh, 720, you can change it to whatever type of format that you want to out output the video as. I'm just doing an MP4, a regular high definition video. So once you're all ready for that, you just hit play. It will calculate how long it needs to render. Since we're only doing 30 seconds, it's only going to take us a little over a minute to render out the 30 seconds. Um, and so we'll just skip forward to when it actually finishes. Uh, You know that old house at the end of the road? The one that nobody ever dares go? They all have good reason to shine, steer clear Of that spooky abode and its dark atmosphere For waiting inside are all manner of frights 